My name is Frederick. I'm the writer and director of The Last Tree, and I also play Richard in the movie. My name is Frederica, and I am the executive producer, and I also play the role of Rebecca. The idea behind the film The Last Tree derived from me reading Jared Diamond's book Collapse, which depicts the fate of the Eastern Islanders. And I wanted to talk about the demise of cutting down trees on the planet. Resources were not overexploited. The island's population was never large and then crashed prior to European arrival. The population declined precipitously with the introduction of old world diseases and slave trading. Richard is this business as usual guy who is oblivious to uh, the problems, the world problems around him. And he has a very special arc where he wakes up at the end of the movie understanding that he's part of the problem and has to be part of the solution. It's a lot of gold. 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 It's a lot of One of the main characters in the movie is Rebecca. And she is partly representing Mother Earth, you could say, um, wanting humanity to wake up. And she is also the wife or partner to Richard, um, supporting and loving him down on Earth. One of the most impactful scenes in the movie is when Rebecca is confronting Richard with his behavior. So it takes a lot of courage to do that. Vi har hört det här förut, Rebecka. Det är skrivet med värme, Rickard. Jag förstår om det hela kanske skrämmer dig, Rebecka. Men det här är faktiskt... Nej, skrämmer. Det handlar inte om det. Och jag vet att du vill det här. Jag tror att at slutet av end of the movie where Richard ended up at the hospital and he is maimed from a car crash. That's when finally the penny drops for him and he understands that he has to take bold actions. Yeah, this is just an accident. I thought you were going to wake up. But I'm so glad that you are there. Thank you. I think the key message with the film is that we can impact on an individual level and everyone is important to make necessary steps for a better world and a better future. And also a key message is that the female energy, like the wisdom, the female wisdom within all of us, no matter the gender, needs to be listened to and heard. So you talk about the I showed up The reactions that we have heard for this film is that people feel very confronted and they also feel a little bit of a sense of guilt and remorse. And they twitch in their chairs when they watch the film. <laughs> Very uncomfortable. The audience can make better decisions and having a responsible impact on the planet by visiting myfootprintcalculator.org and figure out their actual footprint on Earth and uh, watch the results and take necessarily steps and also find out where your money goes. Banks, pension funds and large companies often hold investments in fossil fuel companies. So watch out. I think the climate change and environmental films has gained prominence the last years because we're slowly starting to wake up. I wonder how you can sleep so deep. All the world's problems are in your body like water on a gas. And art also is a tool for communication that speaks to our emotional self. Feeling things makes us act. I think that short films are important to the film industry because it requires less time, budget and resources to produce. And uh, there are so many fantastic and important and uh, poignant stories out there that needs to be told. And also, you can eat the elephant in smaller pieces, so to speak, with short films, if the message is big. Peter, Professor Terry Hunt. Men jag vägrar att blunda. Kommer som är här? Ja, hej. Fungerar vattnet inne och ser? Va? Mormor, tvn funkar inte! Ja, jag 
jag kommer! Skulle du kunna? I think that what we learned during the film is that everything costs more money and takes more time. That goes without saying. And uh, that you need a great team surrounding you in order to uh, finish the movie. A good learning is also that really good ideas usually find a way forward. You could say almost supported by life. Can you first tell what some flew around the head on that person who hung near the last tree? But it's not first when it's too late. When we come to regret what we have done. The message of the film is urgent, but unfortunately, it's 40 years late. The second best date is today.